In this video, I'm going to show you how the SVS app can be used to basically supercharge your subwoofer and make it to where it sounds like the next subwoofer up the line. So your PB1000 Pro will probably sound more like a PB2000 Pro. Your PB2000 Pro will probably sound more like a PB3000. 3000 will sound like a 16 Ultra. 16 Ultra will just sound more amazing, period. And keep in mind, I'm always about dual subwoofers. It's a really big thing. Also, I'm the first SVS affiliate, so if you want to support the channel, you can go in my video description below, follow my affiliate link, and anything you purchase can help support the channel. So the SVS app was something they brought out with the PP16 Ultra, and they now have it in all of their subwoofers. So you can adjust the volume from your chair instead of having to go and turn a dial. That's great convenience. And before I touch on this other stuff, it's really important to do all my other hacks, like the gain hack, the distance hack, the crossover hack, adjusting subs by ear. All those things are really going to bring your sub up to the best possible performance. I, I want to stress the importance of doing that as well. But this particular hack uses the parametric EQs. Now, here's the thing that gets really underappreciated about the SDS app. I've used the Mini DSP 2x4 before, and you have to use a computer. You have to put it in between your AVR and the subwoofers. You have to run room correction with that installed so that it can account for the delay and you have to have everything disabled so that it doesn't affect room correction and you have to go back in and change it. There's all these pitfalls, okay? And I'm not a complete idiot when it comes to home theater and it took me 12 to 20 hours altogether to get it right. And so the ability to just go in the SVS app and just pick a frequency, boost it, adjust the cue, which is how narrow or wide the adjustment's going to be, it's so much easier than the, the Mini DSP. And the Mini DSP 2x4, or all the other ones they have now, they're fantastic. Don't get me wrong. They are amazing and it shouldn't be discounted, okay? That's not my point. If you want to go through all that and you want to go through the learning process of it, that's fine. Just understand it's not going to be a simple plug it in and it sounds amazing. That's going to take a lot of learning within Rumi Q Wizard to figure out what kind of curve you want. I, I haven't made a video about how to adjust the mini DSP 2x4 because A, it's going to be an hour long video and B, I'm going to be getting tons of questions about it and it would just kill my brain. I have post-concussion syndrome. It, it, it twists my brain right now just thinking about it. The idea that you can go in and adjust these PEQs without worrying about timing, without worrying about setup, without worrying about busting out a computer, without having to install something, it's great. And the accountant, the fight scene at the end where he's shooting the suppressed fire, those are single cycle shots. Every subwoofer I test, that's how I determine explosiveness because it's going from a dead stop, full force, dead stop, one cycle. You really feel it. So what you do is you go in the SVS app, you select the parametric EQ, and it, you only have to do use one to do this. And I set mine at 29 hertz. I do anywhere from plus two all the way up to plus six, depending on the room, depending on things like that. And I do anywhere from a two to a 2.5 Q. So go ahead and do that. And again, this really matters if you have dual subs, but do that on each sub and put in the accountant, make sure that you're getting the full lossless audio, which means you're getting either Dolby True HD or uh, DTS Master, okay, that's really important. And then go through, listen to that scene with both the PEQ on for both subs and then off for both subs. And tell me if you cannot feel a difference in how powerful that scene is. It, it, it's hilarious. When I discovered that, uh, I think it was with the PB3000s that I did that with initially. And it, it made it to where the PB3000s were definitely maybe even better than the PB4000s. The PB3000s and the PB4000s are so close already. That's why I, I favor the 3000s because it's just smaller, less expensive, and it's just as powerful as a, as a 4000 in terms of explosiveness. And I applied it to every sub I've done. The difference is crazy good. And it doesn't seem to screw up music either. In fact, it, it helps deep bass rap and stuff like that. And you may have to fine tune it. And again, your, your number might be 28 or 27, or maybe it's 30, maybe it's 32. Play around with it. See what sounds best to you. Trust your ears. But that hack <laughs> is like a free upgrade. It's like going from the PB1000 Pros, which I have in here, to the PB2000 Pros. It just gives up that 
extra bit of power down low where it counts. The deeper the bass is, the more power is required. Getting loud at like 70 hertz, almost any subwoofer can do that. Getting loud down at like 23 hertz, which is where the accountant scene spikes at, that's the hard part. And what you're doing is you're giving a little bit more power down where that counts. And that makes the explosiveness just outstanding. So it, this is one of those things that's totally free to do. And you can get an idea what it means when you upgrade from a, a lower wattage ported SVS subwoofer to a higher wattage one. It's really all about that impact. Doesn't really affect music all that much because music just doesn't touch home theater in terms of how much it works the drivers and how much it works the subs. So if you're thinking, oh, I wanna upgrade from this sub to that sub. Well, you can kind of try out the upgrade for free. And then when you upgrade and you do the same trick on that sub, you're getting like the next sub up. It's really cool. It, it's really a fun way to just try things out and, and see what you think, because it's really all about that extra wattage down low that makes the explosiveness, it, it hits you hard. And it, it's just really fun. I got more videos that I'm working on. Definitely subscribe, stay tuned. I appreciate the comments, the likes, everything like that. It's amazing. I appreciate you following my links. It really helps out a lot. I can't begin to tell you, but yeah, this is just a fun one to try, and it's exclusive to SVS because it's, it's in their app. Other subwoofers have apps that are similar, and it should carry over, but I know for sure that it works within the SVS app. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe.